Hey there, Tyler, Theater Design Company. So, quick update on our cinema room door. So, this is episode number two. If you haven't watched episode number one, go ahead and subscribe and take a look at that. Uh, this video will make a lot more sense if you kind of follow the flow of episode one on what we're trying to create and build. And what this video is going to entail is just kind of where we're at, what process we're at. Uh, wait till the end of it. I've got a little time lapse, about a 40 second time lapse on us actually cutting out the cinema room letters which has arisen a question on how we're going to actually backlight the letters. And the way that it was cut out with the CNC uh, gave us a couple different options on how we can light them. Uh, I actually like the way it's cut on the CNC machine to give it like a double stroke through there, which allows us to actually cut a plexiglass and insert it in. And the CNC guy kind of agreed on that. So that's going to be our next process. He's actually working on a template to make sure that that's actually going to work with his machine. And then another update here. So we've got the door handle sorted out. So as you can see here in the picture, it's just a door handle off Amazon. It's like an oil rub bronze, uh, 71 inch. Uh, price is right, a couple hundred dollars. And that'll be on both doors going in and out of the room. Uh, again, only one of the room uh, doors is going to have the cinema lit up. Uh, second part of this kind of shown here is the power transfer hinge. So I've had a few people ask me how we're going to light this thing up. And it uh, looks like what we're going to end up doing is doing a uh, RGB lighting, um, probably an RGBW. And we're going to have to share the pins on this and get a power transfer hinge with a minimum of eight wires so that we can uh, double up the leads. And what we're probably going to do is more of a DMX 512 situation uh, because an RGBW is going to take uh, five wires total where we can do a uh, DMX 512 and get it down to three wires and do like a data ground uh, data type of deal, uh, data ground power type of deal, and uh, get these wires doubled up. So as you can see the transfer hinge from a company called SDC, you can buy these from Amazon. Uh, there's a link in the description. We're obviously buying this from one of our suppliers since we do access control and things of that quite often. And uh, we'll end up transferring that through. We gotta be careful because we ha can't get more than about one amp of power through this real small gauge wire. And then last, uh, I've ordered in the plexiglass, got the uh, lighting going in, got a bunch of different options. That'll all be episode number three. And then final thing on this, this little arrow, is we're going to go ahead and omit the bottom light on this. And we'll just have our lighted up cinema sign. And then we'll have our lighted cinema line going down the edge of the door. So I kind of po poked in on making this video. I poked some arrows in on those two items. So go ahead and watch time lapse. Uh, again, short video, quick update. Uh, number three is going to be way more in depth and I'm going to need some input on what you guys think we should do as far as the uh, kind of the font or the cutout on this before I can move on to uh, wrapping up the door with the final wood. Uh, wood is going to be probably a poplar stained a walnut color. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, enjoy the time lapse and see you soon.